Did you know that there are breeds of cattle that were completely developed in Jamaica to cope with our tropical climate? This is the story of Jamaican scientist Dr. T.P. Leckie and the breeds of cattle he created. Thomas Philip Leckie, known as T.P. Leckie, was born on December 31, 1904 in Swift River, Portland, Jamaica. He was raised on a small farm and was the 12th of 13 children. Being born on a farm, Lecky was introduced to agriculture at an early age through his father who was a farmer and as the years went by, Lecky developed an interest in livestock farming. Lecky's academic journey started at the Swift River Primary School and thereafter got a merit scholarship to study agriculture at the Government Farm School which later became the Jamaica School of Agriculture, the predecessor of the College of Agriculture Science and Education case. After earning a diploma from the Government Farm School, Lecky went to work for the government at Hope in 1925 where he was introduced with assessing the suitability of new breeds of cattle being introduced to Jamaica and testing their reaction to local conditions. From this, Lecky developed an interest of creating new breeds of cattle for the Jamaican climate and this led him to study at McDonald College at McGill University in Canada and graduated in 1930 with a diploma in agriculture. He would then continue his studies at the Toronto University, reading for his Bachelor of Science degree for which he was awarded a honors degree. Years later, he would read for his PhD at Edinburgh University, Scotland. Using his research as the basis for his doctorate, his dissertation entitled Genetic Improvement in Dairy Cattle in the Tropics presented his ideas for developing a tropical dairy breed, which took into account the two main processes by which species or breeds adapt to new environments through natural selection and mutation. Natural selection is the process by which populations of living organisms adapt and change while mutation is any change in the DNA sequence of a cell which is caused by mistakes during cell division or exposure to DNA damaging agents in the environment. Lecky noted this in animals he observed in Jamaica where some cattle showed significant improvements after a period of 20 years. Fast forward to the 1950s. Lecky's ideas were realized and the first examples of genetically bred cattle named the Jamaica Hope were ready. This new breed of cattle were created through a combination of different cattle breeds such as the British Jersey Cow which had the characteristics of being small and light feeding with the Holstein which are heavy milk producers and the Sahiwal breed which are disease resistant and adapted to the tropics. With such combinations, the Jamaica Hope could produce up to an average of 12 liters of milk a day, three times that which was being produced by other cattle on the island, which eventually revolutionized Jamaica's dairy industry and other dairy industries around the world. Though Lecky's work was revolutionary and had many scientists coming to Jamaica to see his work, he was not completely satisfied with his creation, the Jamaica Hope and so he went on to create other breeds such as the Jamaica Red and the Jamaica Black. The Jamaica Red was bred to produce meat. Lecky worked with cattle farmers and studied Indian cattle. He selected from among a few breeds of Indian cattle that had been brought into the island and created a new breed known as the Jamaica Brahman which gained popularity in Latin America. Farmers realized that the imported English red cattle which had not proved resistant to ticks and tropical diseases when bred with the Jamaica Brahman produced cattle of top quality beef. This breed became known as the Jamaica Red, the main meat producing cattle on the island. The Jamaica Black was bred by Lecky to cope with the cooler areas of the island where other breeds were unable to thrive. He bred the Black Aberdeen Angus from Scotland which is well adapted to cool temperatures with the Jamaica Brahmans to produce a small black cattle called the Jamaica Black. Though praised for having good quality beef, the Jamaica Black proved to be the most difficult breed to care for and was not as popular as the Jamaica Hope and the Jamaica Red among cattle farmers. Lecky believed that milk and beef could help satisfy protein needs that were not being met and that livestock is more lucrative than a focus on crops alone. He also wanted all small farmers to have cattle because besides producing milk, every year a young animal could be sold to help pay for school fees. Dr. T.P. Lecky retired from government service in 1965 but remained available as a consultant until close to his death in 1994. 
Dr. T.P. Leckie gave over 60 years of his life to the development of Jamaica's livestock and received Jamaica's highest civilian honor, the Order of Merit for creating new breeds based on foreign cattle that reproduce on their own without acting like crossbreeds or hybrids. He also received the Norman Manley Award for Excellence. Today, Dr. T.P. Leckie's legacy lives on and is remembered as the father of the Jamaica dairy industry.